like it. I like it. I'm just going to make sure that inside of here is all cleaned up on both pieces. I'm going to tack it in. Yeah. I'm liking it. This stuff you can actually bend fairly easy. If anyone's watching this thinking, oh, that's how you reinforce and extend a, a control arm. It's not, probably. So don't don't take my word for it, please. If there's any uh, if there's any welding companies out there that would like to sponsor the show, give me a huge tank of gas and a bunch of welding wire. I'd appreciate it. Man, I would appreciate it. Heck yeah. Need to make a plate for that side. Finish welding up that side. All in all, for my first one, pretty happy with it. It's looking pretty good. I think. And just as I put my last little couple of tacks on there, ran out of wire. Man. Whatever. Time for some new. So, where'd we end up this weekend? Got a good start on my rear end. I'm liking that. Need to get some more welding supplies. Get that sucker all welded up. Get that banana bar bracket cut off of there. Finish cleaning everything up. And then I'm gonna take it all apart before I put it back in the car, I don't know if I'm going to take it all apart soon. I might wait until it's closer to actually going in the car um, before I paint everything, take it all apart, new seals, clean everything. It needs new brakes, obviously, and stuff like that, too. New brake lines. So I'll probably wait until I get closer to having everything, all the metal work done, so I can uh, paint everything. I want to rebuild it before I paint it. Pretty successful. I really need to clean up. I wish it was warm enough I could open up my door and get all of this crap out of here. It's just grinding on metal and cutting metal. Plasma cutting metal gets really dusty. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going on the control arms. Do the bottom next. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the bottom. 
bottom's kind of interesting on these cars. Just a very flat surface. So I'm definitely going to reinforce that because you know, the bottom takes quite a bit of pressure from the spring. So reinforce that. I'll come over here, take that side off. Do it all over again. Once I get the suspension all done, then it's just the frame. After that, wrap this sucker, clean everything up, finish welding everything, clean everything up, paint it. Let me let me know what you guys think on what, what I should do with the frame. I'm leaning more toward just a, a gloss black just because um, the whole car is going to be black. So, but... I also think like a, uh, a silver would look nice. So, I don't know. I was kind of thinking gold, but I don't know. It might look a little goofy having a gold frame. Um, yeah, I've seen some that were kind of like a silver gray color. That looked kind of good. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, black would be easy, I guess. Uh, maybe do some striping or something on the, the frame rails if I did it in black. Um, if I do it in silver, then I'll probably do all the, uh, the trailing arms and stuff black. Um, just so it's not a bunch of different colors down there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do with the, the frame. What color I should go with on that. Um, not a whole lot of chrome doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Just because I, uh, I don't have a chrome shop near me. So let me know what you think. The Thugmobile should be painted. I think black. Black will look good.